So y'all drove in from uh oh, you got you oh good. How'd y'all first discover the river? Oh, um just just I guess by um find some property around here. Oh yeah? Yeah. Great. Yeah, Cleburne, uh huh, Cleburne County. Great. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, we like it because it's peaceful. It's very peaceful. So uh, it's ten and a half miles to Shirley. How long uh, will it take y'all to get there? You think? We hope about five hours. Five. Yeah. I was guessing four to six. Huh? I was guessing four to six. I got friends coming. I got a canoe. I want to go in. Maybe tomorrow. It's gone down quite a bit, but it's still just over the bridge. Low water. You gonna float tomorrow? I think so. If not, I'm going to go back up to the other bridge and at least come down this far. Yeah. I'm trying to get a commitment for my buddy to be able to pick up the canoe down in Shirley. Have y'all done a lot of uh, kayaking? No. No, not a lot. We got this pedal kayak. I just retired last year. Uh-huh. So we got a couple of those Jacksons and got this pedal kayak. Nice. Play on. I like the wheels. So y'all have never been down this before then? Not from here, no. We've gone from Shirley down to Stewart. To, to Sandiff? Yeah. Uh-huh. Now an outfitter took up the logistics. Are you an outfitter then? Uh, All right. I think you might be the only one then, right? Uh, I'm that one there in Charlie in the car. Oh, okay. The yeah, you're in the you're you're listed in a website there for about uh, the Little Red River. What's your name? My name's Jason. Jason, your last huh? Yes, sir. Jason, what's your last name? Oh Hayes. Oh Hayes, I'm Vincent Easley. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jason. So you've been down here several times. Yeah. What's it like? Any bad strainers or rocks uh, or uh, logs? Now, you got one rock probably about two, two and a half miles down. Uh, it's not too bad though. You can usually get around it pretty easy. Canoe goes as well as the kayaks? I like the kayaks better. They just turn easier. Uh-huh. Uh, canoes are good for hauling a lot of stuff. You got little kids. Uh, but. If I'm just going to be out here playing around a kayak, it's going to be one of them. Yeah. Now, a single person in a canoe, I, I put some rocks in it yesterday. Yeah. Just to balance out the front end. That makes sense? It does. Uh, I mean, just keep it from sitting and popping a wheelie all the way down there. Right. And also, I switched the uh, the bow to the stern because okay. I'm single, so I moved myself a little forward yeah, in the... Yeah, more in the middle. Uh-huh. That makes sense. You think sitting in the middle would be better altogether, single? Uh... Or out, off balance. Really, you typically not a seat in the middle, so it'd be right. a little more difficult. Right. I, I tied a uh, cooler down in the middle yeah. to mount this camera on, actually. But I don't think that would be safe to sit there uh, and being higher up, too. Don't get me in line. Uh -huh. You want me to help you turn this thing around? Well, I think I'm going to just slide it in that way. Jason, you got a website? Uh, mainly just Facebook. Uh huh. It's just a little Red River Outfitters on Facebook. It's uh, We try to keep people informed about the river level, uh -huh. what they're getting themselves into, you know, and uh, just let them know that we're up here. I'll find you on Facebook, Vincent Easley, and uh, when I upload this, I got a lot of video. I'll probably edit and bring some good points together. The lady that does the Van Buren County tourism or something trying to promote the river here, do you know her name? I don't recall, it's on a website. I'd like to get in touch with her and 
You have a dealer? Sure. I know. I work for the chamber over in Clinton. Uh -huh. And, uh, gosh, four years ago we started establishing these public launches. Mm -hmm. uh, we created a Float BBC. Yes, that's, that's uh, it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nonprofit that, uh, that come out of the chamber office there in Clinton. Great. So, uh, yeah. You know who heads that up now? Uh, it's still us. Okay, good. So, and O'Day is your last name? Hayes. Oh, Hayes. Yes, sir. Jason O'Hayes. Little Red River Outfitters. Awesome. So you're going to set them in and pick them up down uh, down in Shirley? Yeah, well, they've got their own boat, so when they get down there, they just... Oh, them. oh yeah, yeah, good, good. So you set them in. Yeah. What does something like this cost? Uh, shuttle from Shirley to here is 20 That's it? Yeah. 20 bucks. And then uh, from uh, Shirley to what we call Bear Creek, it's about half the distance of this. It's $10. And then we rent them for 30 on that short run and 40 on the long run. That also includes the shuttle. Really? Yeah. That is really super cheap. Well, good enough for me. Yeah. For an old country boy, huh? Yeah. We're I'll way at, we're way in the country, too. Yeah, I, we're in the country right now. I thought about bringing my banjo, but I thought it'd freak people out. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just kidding, though. No, Seriously, though. We, uh, <laughs> we were playing last night. He's going to find out the, uh, what's that instrument you got, baby? The band Lynn. Uh huh. My banjo won't stay in tune. It's me or the banjo. I'm not sure. How long have you been playing? Oh, I don't call it playing. <laughs> I put this banjo back together and I think it just keeps flexing out of it, just won't hold tune. Yeah, it doesn't like humidity. I got one at the pawn shop down in Cabot. A few months ago when we were here, uh -huh. and it's like a 1972, made in Japan. Wow. And, uh, they let me have it for 150 bucks. And Kimberly? I was a pawn shop. I don't know. No, I mean as the uh, brand of the banjo. And it didn't have any words on it. It's oh, yeah? got the star with a five in it. Huh. So it's a five string. Yeah, yeah. Uh, four that, strings are for people without thumbs. And it's <laughs> the bridge, and he did a, a thing where it tips it back. Uh-huh. What place were we going to put we got with us this trip? Okay, shall I put this big thing on here? Yeah, put it in the, yeah, this is the pickup truck. Put stuff in the back. And this is really nice. Oh, yeah, this is nice. We got this a year ago. I can pedal in that thing all day long. That that thing by itself, when you buy it new, is $1,000, just that piece. Wow. And it just slides down that little thing, and I can pedal that all day. I can pull her. Well, and like where's your place. rudder? It's a, it's that little handle by the thing there. Uh, I and see. It's, it's down underneath. Uh huh. There's a little. Yeah, yeah. A little idea. So this, uh, you, you steer downstream really well as well, opposed I to going upstream. Well, I did get it on rapid. Used to be the first. Oh, nice. I, I yeah. I used the pedals. You know, I mean the uh, the, the paddle. Mm-hmm. Um, and stuff like this. We get under some flat. When it's deep, then I'll put that down and settle it Gotcha, down. gotcha. It's not any faster, but you can do it all day. Good to see you. No problem. Um, I don't think we're good. Do that miles down, there's going to be a rock in the middle. Okay. I usually go river right. Uh, it's got a little bit of undercut on the left. Okay. Uh, it kind of sucks you in a little bit on the left hand side. So, try to get to the right of that. Okay. Uh, had some people run this uh, last Monday. They didn't mention any strangers at all. So, should okay. be a pretty clear run. All right. A big boulder. Yeah. And you come up on it pretty quick. It's kind of blind until you get to it. Just go river right if you can. Okay. You can go river left if you need to. Uh, you just might have to kick yourself off that rock. But uh, right now, at the low current, if you do flip, you're typically not going to be in too deep of water. So everything should be pretty okay. pretty peaceful. Right. Jason, thank you very much. No problem. Y'all guys have a great trip. Okay. And if you would, just let me know when y'all get off the water. Okay. I like knowing everybody's off the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll need to give you a little bit So, what, what time is it now? Okay. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Okay. Okay. I get bored, I might come out and uh, the second half of the float I can see from the road, a uh, river road. Okay. So, I might come out and just see how y'all are doing okay. if I get bored. Okay, okay. so about five, eight, five hours. So, yeah. 10 to 5, about 3 ish. Yeah, 3 or 4 yeah. is somewhere around there. Okay. How long do you think it'll be before the 
water goes down too much to uh, float it. Tomorrow it's going to start getting questionable, oh, yeah. and come Monday, well, we're supposed to get rain more rain Sunday, next week. So, uh-huh. uh, really, I use the USGS gauge at Shirley. Mm-hmm. Uh, it measures the river level. Right, it needs I to be like at eleven above six foot. Oh, okay. And 11's the highest, right? I won't run it at 11. Usually about 8.2 over okay. that, you start going over the sandbars. Uh-huh. When you go over the sandbars, you don't have any kind of peacefulness in the holes. So if you do flip over, it's hard to get over and get your boat over and get it kind of straightened back out. Right. So right. We usually shut down for most floaters about 8.2, 8 and a half, somewhere around there. Got it. It's just the, the current gets so much, it's just not safe for them. Right, right. Thanks, Jason. I appreciate it. Visit and take care of yourself. All right. We'll see you later. I'll hit you on Facebook. I had no idea it was so cheap for a shuttle. That's they are just trying to promote and build it, I guess. Yeah. You would think that would be a hundred bucks. Well, you know, you get a group of people. It doesn't take any more work. Okay. So yeah. You know, per yeah. Oh, twenty a person. Yeah. Okay. Cost is 40 bucks, you know, to come up. That's, That's still cheap enough, huh? Yeah. I think I'll let you go first. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going in the morning whether my friend goes with me or not. Now I know who to call to get a, a ride out on my oh, yeah. with my canoe. Are you just right back up? Yep. Native, I love that boat. Have fun, be safe. Can I give you a shove? Um, sure. <laughs> Take care. You're welcome. Thank y'all.